hair seems to be this. Um, who else has baby hair like this? I actually shaved these right here. Do you see these ones? Like, what is that? What is that? <laughs> I actually shaved those off and I need to shave them now because they're driving me crazy. Hey guys, welcome back, it's Crystal. So today I have a huge, and I mean huge, Sephora haul video. Some of this stuff I've purchased over the last like couple months, maybe even three months. No, it's probably been a couple months. And then also some of the stuff that I purchased from the Sephora VIB Rouge sale. So I have a lot of things to talk about. Let's jump right in. So first I picked up this. This is the Velvet Matte Skin Tint by NARS, and I got the shade Finland Light One. So the color match on this is fantastic for me. I always find that NARS foundations have a really good color selection and a good color match for my skin tone. So this is a light shade with a yellow undertone, but it's not too yellow. It's like perfect. There was also a perfect color match for me in the All Day Weightless Luminous Foundation, whatever that foundation by NARS is called. The color match in that was fantastic as well, but I just did not like that foundation. So this one I've used maybe three to four times. I really need to try it out some more to really form an opinion about it. But so far I've been enjoying it. I feel like it's a nice kind of everyday product because it does have the SPF in it and it has really good coverage. So, but again, I still need to test it out a little bit more. Let me just give you a little swatch. It does kind of smell like sunscreen. There is the swatch of it. It's just a nice color match. So I really like that. And I don't know if I showed you the packaging. That's what it looks like. I'll be so excited when I get to put all this stuff away. Like my vanity is just horrendous. There's stuff everywhere. That's why I didn't face the camera towards my vanity desk, which I usually like to do. I just have stuff all over my desk and it looks atrocious. So I hope you guys don't mind this white background. I'm not going to do it all the time. I'm just kind of switching up my background, seeing what I like, what I don't like. So I hope you guys don't mind all the changes from all the videos I posted. I picked up this Sephora eyeshadow. This one I have had on my wish list forever. I swatched it in store. I loved it, but I did not pick it up. And I was just going to purchase it online during the sale. But it was out of stock for the longest time, even before the sale was out of stock. But it finally came back in stock, I think the last day of the sale, and I snagged it. So this is the Sephora Colorful Eyeshadow in Brown Diamonds, and this is a glitter finish, but this is more like the Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadows where it has that really micro fine shimmer. It's such a pretty color. I have not used this on my eyes yet, but I cannot wait to try that out. See how pretty that is? It's just a brown eyeshadow with a ton of gold sheen. So, so pretty can't wait to use that. So I picked up one of the new Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealers and these were out of stock for the longest time too but I finally was able to purchase one. It is in the shade R22. These are these little suckers are expensive and it is so much smaller than I envisioned because <laughs> I purchased it online but um, I'm still testing this out. I do like it but I don't know if I feel like it's worth the money. Just because I do like some other drugstore concealers better. So that's what it looks like right there. I don't know. I'm just one of those people that doesn't like to spend a lot of money on a concealer. Like when they start hitting the 20 something, almost $30 price range, I'm like, oh, I cringe my teeth. I picked up another La Vanilla Healthy Deodorant in the Vanilla Coconut Scent. I've gone through one of these. I really love the way this smells. It smells really, really good. It's all natural. So that, if you're looking for a natural deodorant, I would try the La Vanilla because I think they're really nice. And then I purchased two of the new Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche <laughs> lipsticks. I don't know why that whole name like throws me off. I'm totally butchering that. Don't even quote me right now. I know somebody will correct me, but I already know I'm butchering it. So these are 95% natural and this first shade I got is called Saki. Oh. Such a pretty color oh my gosh I love this kind of color it's like a mauve I think this one's described as a dusty mauve it's just so beautiful 
so opaque, so pigmented. I have not used these yet, but I heard they're fantastic. And then this one here is called Meringue, and it's right there. It's just like a beautiful, I would say like a peachy nude. Yeah, like a peachy nude. It's really, really pretty. I can't wait to try these out. I should have tried one on today, but I used something else from my Ulta haul. I need to film an Ulta haul as well because I have so much stuff, guys. But I picked up a couple of the new Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Luminous Blushes, and these popped on the Sephora website the last day of the sale. So I was really excited because I really wanted these, and I wanted to get them on sale, 20% off, obviously. So this first one is called Camellia. Oh, so, so pretty. Very luminous, so if you don't like blush with a glow, you won't like these, but it's right over there. This one here is called Fox Glove. Oh my gosh. Such a pretty court, like orchid type color. Oh. I wanted to swatch a couple more shades in store to see if I would want any others, but they just look a little bit deep or vibrant for my light complexion. Oh, you guys, I can't wait to use these. They look gorgeous. So I picked up a couple of the new shades of the Laura Mercier Face Illuminators, and I have the original one that first came out a long time ago. It was limited edition, but then they came out with like a permanent one that looks very similar. I'm not sure if it's the same one or not. Um, or if maybe it's just the name is different. I haven't even looked, but um, I picked up two of the newest shades They came out with three new shades, but the deepest one just looked too dark Well, it was obviously just way too dark for me. So the first one that I picked up is called devotion and these just are so pretty in the pans and I've watched reviews about these I've seen many negative reviews. There's kind of mixed reviews on sephora.com I'm not really sure how I feel about them quite yet. I need to use them a little bit more. This one's just a really like pretty pinky shade. The design is what gets you. Like you just look at it and you're like, I need that. So the thing with these is they are pigmented. I feel like it is hard to pick up product with your brush though. Today I did use the other shade that I'm gonna show you, Wet. This is the first time I've actually used a highlighter wet, but I applied it wet and I felt like it went on better. These are actually not highlighters, they're illuminators. I believe you're supposed to use them, like dust them all over your face, but I just, I didn't want to use them for that myself personally. So the thing with these is like, they're kind of like a flaky shimmer. They're not like really smooth and soft in texture like some of my other highlighters, like the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighters. Um, the glow kits, those, the formula on those is like butter. It just like melts into your skin. These have more of a chunkier type texture. That's the only way I can describe it. People say it's like a glitter bomb. I would say it's like glitter. I would say more like micro fine shimmer. Definitely not glitter. Um, I know a lot of people refer to this kind of texture as glittery, but I wouldn't say that it's glittery in my opinion. So, I don't know, I'm still testing it out. I think it's a really beautiful color. I didn't feel like it was the most long lasting and I'm just not sure about it yet because for the price, I just feel like I have other highlighters that are better. So I think I may take these back because they're like $44, that's expensive. And if, it's, if I'm not wowed by a product that is expensive, then I definitely want to take it back, you know what I mean? But I think I'm going to give this pink one one more try because, I don't know, I just used it, I think, a couple times. So the other one that I was not going to use and I was just going to actually return is the shade in Addiction. And this is more of a gold. And I don't always love gold highlights on my skin tone. Now, I can wear them as long as they're not too yellow gold. Um, this one, it's pretty gold. It is a really pretty shade, though. Ugh, it just talks to me in the pan. It's just so, so pretty in the pan. So this is what it looks like. I used this one today. I applied it wet. They swatch, I feel like they swatch much better on your finger than they go on with the brush. Now it depends too on the brush that you use. I feel like the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush, this one right here, it's the A23. I feel like 
if you use the top of the brush like this and then apply it, it, it goes on really, really well. Let me show you. So this brush I feel like is ideal for this product. Just because of the design, it makes it hard to pick up product evenly in your brush. Today I had used this type of brush right here and I just went like this and I felt like I couldn't get a lot of product on there. Like I had to keep rubbing my brush through the pan and keep applying it. But then I sprayed it with some Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and then applied it and it went on beautifully. I thought it was much more pretty um, wet, but again, it depends on the brush that you use. I just wanted to try a different brush. But I definitely recommend like the Anastasia brush. That one worked really, really well for this product. There's swatches of both of those. I get some point perks. Um, this one, I think was, this one was a point perk. I'm not sure. So this is a Laura Mercier lip gloss. And the shade is called Bear Baby. And it's their lip glaze. I have not used this yet. The packaging is really cute. Smells good. It's like a nice milky looking pink so I think that would be beautiful paired over other lipsticks and then I picked up the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani blush palette I kind of debated about this palette back and forth when it first came out I didn't think that I would like the shades in here and it went on sale so this palette went on sale I think it went on sale for 30 39 dollars and I had the 20% off so I snagged it during the sale I thought that was the perfect time to pick it up. So I really love the packaging on this. It's just so nice. And the colors are actually really pretty. I think I am going to like this. I've only used it once, which is today. I used this shade OC right here. It's like a orangey peachy shade. Um, so I just used that on my cheeks today. But all the other colors look really, really pretty. So those are the swatches right there. This is like a highlight shade right here. I feel like that's going to be too dark for my complexion, but I'll have to give it a try. Maybe very lightly dust it on my cheeks. And then the, all the other ones should work. This one, I'll probably have to go in light-handed with it because it is kind of a darker shade. And then I picked up this foundation by Josie Moran. It's the Vibrancy Argon Oil Foundation Fluid. I've used this several times. I'm still trying to formulate my opinion about it. My skin was very problematic for probably like two weeks. It was very bumpy and just had a lot of texture. And no matter what foundation I put on, I just felt like my skin looked crappy. And I was using this one, testing it out around that time. So I'm definitely going to have to give it another go because I can't really base my thoughts on a foundation when my skin is just like freaking out you know what I mean so I think the packaging on this is beautiful I love it I love like the watercolor and then the rose gold top it's just a really nice glass packaging and I got the shade in cause cosmic g15 I really like the color match in this because it's like a light yellow undertone and it comes with a pump oh this is what G. 15 looks like. I picked up one of the new Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palettes. This is the one in... What is the name? What is your name? Where is your name? Oh, <laughs> the name is right here. It's called Plum. So, these are so cute. It looks like a little coffin. I had to pick up this one. Out of all four of them, I had to get this one. I love purples, I love plums, I love mauves. Such a pretty little palette. This color right here is so rich and it's not patchy at all. Oh my gosh, it's so intense. I'm gonna have to use this tomorrow ASAP. I picked up a highlighter from Burberry. This is the Burberry Spring Summer Collection 2016. It says Runway Palette Highlight Palette. And this is so unique. This is different than any highlighter that I own. It was a pretty penny, but it's just different. And I actually really like it. So of course the Burberry packaging is beautiful. And the shade is Nude Gold number two. They also have another one of these that is more of a like stark white, but I had this stark white one in pearl from Becca and I just felt like it was too white for my complexion. So I didn't want to pick up that one, but this one was just very unique. I saw somebody show it in a video and I was like okay I'm gonna try that out and I used it and it works really really well so 
so it looks like. I mean, the color of it's just unique. So this is a gold, but this is the type of gold that I love and is ideal for me because it just works better for my skin tone. I do have a yellow undertone, but it's light, so most gold highlighters are too yellow or too gold, whereas this one is like a beigey gold, and that's why the name is perfect because it's called Nude Gold. I love that. I wish more companies would come out with a color very similar to that. So if this is still available, snag it, you guys. It is so pretty. I really, really like it. Oh, I almost forgot these lip pencils. Like, what? These are the Sephora Gel Rouge Gel Lip Liners, and I got several shades. I picked up some of them prior to the sale. I picked up some during the sale, and I used one for the first time today, and oh my god, I'm in love. Like, these are so good. I think these retail for $12, but totally worth the $12. So this one is the lightest shade called the Nudist. Such a pretty color. You think it's going to be like super, super light, but it actually has good color to it. And it's called Nothing But Nude, and this is the one that I put on my lips today. This one's called Rosewood. This one is Creme De La Creme. This one's called Rose Wine. And this last one is called Mesquite. It's a really nice range of nudes, like you have a little bit of everything. I also purchased the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I actually got this from Too Faced.com, but I just wanted to throw this in a Tarte haul in this video because I'm gonna film an Ulta haul as well, and that one's just probably gonna be longer than this one, so. Um, I thought I would just throw these a few products in, but I don't even think you can get this anymore unless it's like in your local Ulta or Sephora, but I love this palette. This is what I have on my eyes today. I love the packaging. I love the scent. It smells like peaches. I think the colors in here are beautiful. I just, I love this. I'm going to tell you really quickly what I have on my eyes. So in the crease, I put on this one, Summer Yum this green one here on the lid called bless her heart and I used that one wet and oh my god it was so intense I was like whoa yes so then I put Bellini right here like this rose gold I put that in the inner lid put nectar on the tear duct area I put this one here it's called peaches and cream I put that as my brow bone highlight and I took a little bit of Candid Peach right here and I put a little bit of that in the crease just to make it a little bit more vibrant. I put Peach Pit, this one right here, in the crease to deepen it up. Those are all the ones that I used today. I wanted to do like a get ready with me with the makeup that I have on today, but I don't know. I feel bad because it's limited edition. Why don't they make this palette permanent? Like seriously, you know, some they should anticipate how many people are going to want these things because I mean, it was crazy to get this palette. So many people were like, it was like a cat fight trying to get the name thing. So I don't know why they don't make things like that permanent. I like this palette way better than the semi-sweet palette. I actually purchased that one when it first came out and I returned it. I didn't like it. I didn't think the pigmentation was good, but I do love my other two chocolate bar palettes. So this one, I love it. From Tarte, I purchased their new Rainforest of the Sea collection. So I got this foundation and the packaging on this is just, gorgeous it's like an ombre royal blue royal purple Ugh, i'm in love i love the gold writing so this is the water foundation it has an spf of 15 and this is light sand and this is the foundation that i have on today love the foundation it's really really nice great coverage it does have one of these little dispensers that i'm not too crazy about but i feel like this one works a little bit better than some of the other ones i've tried and this color match is pretty good. Um, I would say it's a little bit more um, yellow undertone than the lightest shade, which is why I picked this one. This one I really, really like. I've used it several times. And then I picked up the Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Concealer, and I got the shade in Fair. And again, it has this, so it has this really big wand, which I'm not, like, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It make, does make it easy for application just to swipe it under your eyes. But the scent on this, it smells like paint. Like, 
that kind of baffles me a little bit because Tarte's products are usually a little bit more natural, but this smells like straight up paint. And the color on this is nice and brightening under my eyes though, because it is the lightest shade. So I use this today too as concealer under my eyes. Um, it does give really good coverage, nice and brightening for me. Uh, and then I got this beautiful highlight palette. I debated whether to get this, but I did purchase all these things when Tarte was having a sale. It was, I don't know, they had a big discount if you purchased, like, like if you purchased $100, you got $30 off or something like that. So I purchased these products around that time. So this palette is so pretty. It's called the Skin Twinkle Lighting Palette. So it has two shimmery highlights and a matte highlight. So I just love the packaging, you guys. And Tentalia had given this a really bad rating and I heard a couple other people give it bad reviews as well. But I think this is a really, really nice palette. I think some people don't really know what's up with this middle shade right here. But this is a matte highlight and I think it would be good for setting your under eye concealer. But I haven't personally used it yet, so. And it has a, like a very light yellow undertone. But I really love the highlighting shades, the shimmery ones. I think they have a nice smooth texture. I think they're pigmented. I've heard people say that they're like chalky, but I don't feel like they're chalky at all. Like look how intense those are. So pretty. And I really like the fact that these work with my light complexion. So let's see, it says, sunlight is a champagne gold and moonlight is a rosy pearl. So this is the rosy pearl and this is the champagne gold. And it, that's a gold that I can wear because it's a champagne gold. It's not too yellow, not too dark. Perfect, I love this palette. And I purchased this eyeshadow palette. It is the Rainforest of the Sea eyeshadow palette. And I have not used this yet, but isn't the packaging so pretty? And it's so substantial, like it has some weight to it. It doesn't feel cheap or anything like that. So this is smaller than their traditional palettes, but usually those have a blush in the center, which is, whereas this one's just straight up eyeshadows. And I heard great things about this, so I had to purchase it, especially because I had a coupon code and I used Ebates, so I got cash back for shopping through Tarte. But I really like the fact that the names of the eyeshadows are around here instead of on one of these little plasticky things because I hate those things. So it has like that gelée or gel to powder finish. Ooh, texture on these is good. Really, really good. Hello. Come to mama. Asian is really, really nice. I love the texture. Very similar to like the Makeup Forever shadows where they have that gel to powder finish. Ugh, love the texture of those. So I need to pull that out and play with it. So from Tarte, I picked up the Tartlet in Bloom palette. The packaging is gorgeous. Tarte, you're like do outdoing it with your packaging, seriously. I love the original Tartlet palette. I know some people didn't like that one. I love Plums, Mauve's Cool Tone eyeshadows. So that's why I love that palette. I think the quality of the mattes are really, really nice. This one has mattes and shimmers. So I did play with this a little bit for a couple days this past week and I thought it was nice. I think I might like the other palette better, to be honest. Let me swatch all these for you. Pigmentation on that is really, really good. I picked up this blush palette from TarteCosmetics.com during their friends and family sale, which was very recent, and they had 30% off, which was such a great deal. I wanted this blush palette since it came out, but it went out of stock immediately when the sale happened, so I was really bummed about it, and I wasn't going to purchase it. But then, the last day of the sale, I checked again, and it came back in stock, so I was super stoked about that. But the packaging, like, Tarte is totally killing it with the packaging, and these colors are just so gorgeous. So I did use this the first time yesterday. They're very pigmented, very soft, just beautiful colors, especially like for spring and summertime. So I'm glad I snagged it 30% off, yay. All right guys, so that is it for my haul video. I have to film an Ulta haul next. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind all these haul videos going up, but thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, have an amazing day.